everyone, Tanner Bell here from a littlecraftyourday.com. In today's video tutorial, I'm teaching you how to make a really cool DIY a secret book compartment in your project or book. What you'll need is Mod Podge, a bowl with some water, a foam brush, a book of your choice that you don't care to DIY, and an X Acto knife, and maybe a pen. I also got some sandpaper, but that's your choice. First, you want to start taking your Mod Podge and just give it a stir around if yours is sort of old like mine is and pour it in the bowl of water. I'm um, watering down some Mod Podge. I do about 75% Mod Podge and 25% water. Um, something like that would do. What we're going to be doing is sealing the book so we can have a compartment in it and we're using Mod Podge and water. So the water, um, Mod Podge is really thick so when you're doing this you want to have it a little bit thinner so it can um, seep through the pages and keep a nice bond. So after you stir that together you want to just start putting it on your book. Now I thought I would do a section at a time. I turned out that it dries and sticks a lot quicker than you would imagine. So just stick it all together. Don't do the mistake I did um, and do, make sure you're getting even coverage. Let it seep through. Um, this is a project that you want to use a lot of Mod Podge. If you've ever felt bad about using a lot of Mod Podge before, just go crazy with it. I even poured some into the pages and then just squeezed it and it came out but it also went back into it so it let it have a nice coverage. After you're done doing this, do this about two to three times and maybe let it sit overnight or heat it with a heat dryer. After that, you can wake up the next morning and you can start carving it out. So I just took a pin and traced it. I want to have a large um, carving where I can put things in it. Uh, or you can DIY this, but I want it to be like a secret compartment. So as uh, you can see now, as I'm just taking an X-Acto knife, I would definitely recommend to have nice blades. Because if you don't, nice new blades, it'll not cut as easy. And the paper in my book, it was easy to cut but it was very hard to do around the corners so just be cautious of that that's sort of why mine looks a little messy around the corners I used about two or three different blades for different parts of it like for the corners and then just as the straight lines and you can sort of see I'm just working with it here this takes a long time just watch a movie listen to some music watch some of my videos either one and just decide on how deep you want it I wanted mine pretty deep so it took me about two to three hours I don't even think that so just do, keep on doing the same process over and over again and all these pages will come out you can DIY these pages use them on a project now you just want to keep on doing this. It's really easy. And a quick tip is to make sure that you are doing it nice and straight because you don't want to... I came to a point where there was just so many little pieces coming off. Try to stay as even as possible. So now after you've done that and you're deep as you want it to be, um, you can sort of see mine. Is I took some sandpaper and sanded it and sort of helped with it. But you can see the edges that it's sort of not as nice but the book works my iPhone can fit in it and that's what I wanted it to be for um, just for random things it was an easy DIY and then I used tons of the Mod Podge and water um, consistency in here and you can there's never too much of it so just cover it really nicely I let this sit here I then took a piece of wood in the heat that worked fantastic I would definitely recommend doing that again because it worked really nicely and it gave it a nice coverage where you wouldn't have to let it dress it overnight and overall just let your book sit over on something really heavy for overnight so the book doesn't want to stay open for the pages that I left so you can make I if you can notice I left about 20 pages where they could flip through before they found the secret compartment that's what I did on mine you know you can do whatever you want but it's really easy and it's super fun I would love to do this with um, kids or I, I even had fun making this so you can sort of see the pages and then the compartment so it's really nice and now we're going to see it sitting on a bookshelf and it just blends in and you can just, that's me, um, you can just look through it and for a while you just see random pages and you can put in your reading and just read and then there's the secret compartment. So it's really easy. Now I want to put something in there and I don't know what I want to hide in here. So I found my favorite color of red dye. I don't want anybody to die with that color besides me. So it's now hidden on a bookshelf. So hope you enjoyed this DIY. 
Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out littlecraftyourday.com, watch another DIY, subscribe, and maybe if you really want to see my life, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, TannerBelt1023. Have a great day, guys. Bye!